welcome everybody to live after Royal Rumble and the 2017 Royal Rumble pay-per-view just wrapped up about 30 minutes ago and we're going to break down all of the action for you good people. I am of course Tanya Rogers and I'm here with two very special cage sliders. First up we have a regular on cage side speaks Gabe 13. Say hello, Gabe. Uh, hi, everybody. And we have someone new to this whole podcasting business, but he is a regular in the Daily Open thread, and we love him. His name is Bexley for Life. Yeah. Say hello. Hi, everyone. How are you doing here? All right. So uh, the show got underway, and we're going to start right on and off and get into the action of the pre-show. That started with the six woman tag match uh, for SmackDown, which saw Naomi, Nikki Bella, and Becky Lynch take on Mickey James, Natalia, and the SmackDown Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss. So, uh, Bexley, let, let me get your thoughts on this match first. That was a good match. It's solid, you know, it, it did what it had to do. I mean, of all the girls that were there, I mean, the one girl you had to establish was Naomi. And I thought, you know, you have to give her a big win. And that's what they did. And I thought the action was fine. It didn't go too long. What, it went like eight, nine minutes or something. And Naomi got the hot tag and got the win. It was, it was a pretty fun match. I liked it. Gabe, what are your thoughts on these six women tags? I thought it worked well to keep storylines going, and I think they're setting up three women matches at Elimination Chamber instead of an Elimination Chamber match because Nikki and Maddie haven't, haven't done anything with the other four women. I, I don't know. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. I, said I feel like, like because they gave Naomi the pin that, yeah, they're at least setting up two separate matches. That's possible. For Elimination Chamber? Yeah. I don't think they're going to do two Elimination Chamber matches because the card is so weak as far as bodies on SmackDown. Well, they That's could do, true. They could do three. They could do two Elimination Chambers if they just somehow do... Uh, hold on. How many ta- I don't know how many tag teams they have. If they have enough tag teams. I don't think, I don't think they have enough. I don't think. I mean, Hypros are injured. Um... Uh, Usos, I think, are just came back or what have you, but you got to throw in the VOD villains in there? I mean, come on. Simon Gotch is deader than dead at this point. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm not... I think it's probably yeah, I, one, but I'm not sure. I, uh, fun stat. Naomi's 3-0 on pay-per-view against Alexa. Yeah. Go, Naomi. Yeah, back, Backlash, No Mercy, and uh, Roy Rumble. Been there all three times. Okay. that I did yeah. not know that. That is something to keep in mind moving forward. We're going to go yeah. on to mm. the next Let's match, which was the uh, Raw Tag Team Championships. We're on the line. Cesaro and Sheamus defended against Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Gabe, what were your thoughts on this particular match? It happened. <laughs> ah, it was a little better than it happened. <laughs> it happened. I, I it was solid. fine. I guess yeah. I, I guess the two referee situation worked, and they they're setting up for guessing Enzo, Kaz, Gallows, Anderson. Other than that, I have no yeah. idea. I don't know. I, I don't. Not looking forward to that one. And I was a big Enzo and Kaz fan in NXT. I don't know. Yeah, I, I kind of, I feel it kind of the same way it happened. The title switched, you know, moving on. So, yeah. any anybody, anything else further on that? Because we can yeah. just the, the two move three. right on fast. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. Let's just yeah. Uh, uh, the two the two or thing might have been it was kind of. I understand it that why they, why wasn't it the Q? I mean. Because they had the second referee, maybe they let it slide that the first th- the first one got knocked out. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm guessing. I guess we're gonna get a rematch. I actually thought the match was like three stars. I don't know. It was pretty decent. But 
yeah, not looking forward to the future. I don't know. Okay. I'm just waiting for the revival to come up. I'm just waiting for the revival to show up. Because they're not going to SmackDown. Yeah, I don't think they're going to SmackDown either. Yeah, they, 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 I think Enzo and Cass win the titles at WrestleMania or something. And then, like, the next night, Revival just takes out their legs big time. Okay, that might know, happen. That might happen. And I'll pop big time. I'll pop like a motherfucker if that happens. All right, let's 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 go on to the next bit. <laughs> okay. So, Nia Jax took on Sasha Banks. And Sasha Banks got sw- squashed on the pre-show. It was a glorified squash match. Five um, minutes and ten seconds. Yeah. Yeah, she, I just checked it. Yeah, so... Go ahead, Philip. I mean, Bexley. I'm seeing your name is Philip, so I'm probably going to call yeah. you Philip or Bexley. But yeah. go ahead, you talk about it first. Either is fine. Either is fine. I don't have a problem. Uh, up up to the end, I mean, the action was pretty solid. I mean, Sasha's a terrific babyface when it comes like to the wrestling part. Uh, and she was, you know, she was pretty. You know, the match was going on pretty well, and <clears throat> all of a sudden, just Nia just grabs her. Someone dropping. That was it. That was over. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> what the hell happened here? <laughs> yeah, from an Iron Man match six weeks ago to getting squashed on the pre show. Like, there's got to be something that's happened here. There's got to be something. I don't know if it yeah, was she- the, the tweets. I don't know yeah. if it was the tweets. Yeah. Wait, maybe, maybe, All- just maybe. Fashion was being used to build up the person they really wanted to get over, and that was Charlotte. And she's done now, so down the car you go. Yeah, I'll talk about Charlotte more later when we talk about Charlotte and Bailey. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, all I'm gonna all I'm gonna have to say is like, if that's what happened to Sasha, good luck to Liv Morgan, <laughs> because. <laughs> <laughs> And I defended her last night a little bit, but good luck to her. Weren't they trashing? Like, weren't they? Tra- what she was? T- were they trashing? Wasn't? Didn't Graves is trash her like about the uh, internet yeah. stuff? Yeah, that yeah, match happened, like, and it was like, what? I didn't. I didn't think that was gonna be a squ- I didn't think that was gonna be a squash, but okay, I guess they. I guess they really don't want her to get over. They're doing like everything they do. It's basically they're trying to get somebody else over as a face. Hey, I got the line. I got the line. Let's hope Sasha spent as much time preparing for this match as she does on Twitter and Reddit. And Reddit. And <laughs> that was oh my goodness. I just can't. I could not believe I heard it. The uh, I could not believe wow. you said it. It's basically like they're basically put. They're basically doing everything they can to not get it over, and it's not, and yet, yeah, and it it's it's basically the Daniel Bryan effect. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know Corey Gray said that. He that that was not out of his head. He was told to say that verbatim. Yeah, yeah, he was he was told to say that. And about the Bryan thing, the only difference is I think people like you know really like Bailey. So I don't see it as exactly Brian Batista, but there are some similarities there, obviously. Wow. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna leave okay. that back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's move on to the the main show, and the Royal Rumble officially started with the. Raw- Should we speak about Shawn Michaels and and? Uh, him trying to be like uh, Usain Bolt or something. I don't, know. <laughs> no. I don't know. He came out to get the crowd hype. That's he, that, that's yeah. what they did. Like, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. When, when he was leaving, I mean, he was like, you know, you know, get set, go, or stuff like that. Like he was a track and field or something. Yeah. Was, nobody knows what he's trying to do. He's Shawn Michaels. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know if that's I watched true. that part. Like, I probably was going to get snacks or something. So. Yeah, I, I was. <laughs> I was just getting ready to watch the you know the whole show and uh, five minutes before the show, so I had to watch it. Okay, watch the uh, whole thing except for four minutes. 
let's go to the women's match. Yeah. The Raw Women's Championship, Charlotte defended yeah. against Bailey. Gabe, what are your thoughts on Charlotte versus Bailey? I thought this was a pretty good match, but if you're trying to get the baby face over, why does the heel keep winning clean? Like, seriously. They're not. Yeah. yeah. They're not. Keep saying, <laughs> no, Charlotte, no, Charlotte is the end goal. People keep saying where well, they're building her up to so to get a baby face over. No, they're not. People need to stop saying this. It's going to be Charlotte they, Nia they, Mania. Yes, it is. Uh, and Charlotte's going to go over Nia Jax. And the crowd's going to go mild. Yep. <laughs> yes. Nobody's going mean, to care. I, I, I still believe that they could they, they could go because here's the thing. I think they I think they set a goal to get to Charlotte Bailey at WrestleMania, but they have no clue how to get there. Absolutely no. Hold clue. on, wait a minute, Bexley. Yeah. You saw that match tonight. After seeing that match, is she beat Bailey clean as a sheet? How are they setting up anything That's what I'm for Bailey at no- They're not. I don't know how the well, yeah, they're just sitting up Charlotte Naya. I said this. I said this around Survivor Series that they want it to be Charlotte versus Nia Jax. And yeah, people that who follow not gonna be good. What are we people joking? Who follow me on Twitter. Yeah. Like I tweeted, The Rock never. You know what? The Rock. He only has one cousin in the WWE because that's the only person he tweets about, and that's Nia Jax. Yeah, and today he only has one real cousin in the WWE. Okay, now I will get involved somehow at WrestleMania. That's for sure. She's gonna be yeah, in the they, they, match. They've given her some huge wins. Yeah, possible. Yeah, <laughs> possible. Very, likely, probably. I would say that much. He just squashed like, the three times. <laughs> yeah, we're. <laughs> yeah, Ty, well, that's it. Ty, we're we joking in the summer about uh. Charlotte Naya with Bailey Sasha on the undercard. I was not joking. I was not joking. People, my other people might have been joking, but I was damn serious, and I'm still no. serious. That's the match I see. We went like it, no, like summer time. Yeah, I don't know what the yeah. hell, what the hell they're gonna do. I got no idea. I, I was it's gonna be Charlotte was- Naya. Just expect <laughs> that. I, I was it's just. just a fatal, um, it's a yeah. Bailey and Sasha are going to get slapped around by the much bigger dominant women, and it's still going to come down to the decision being Charlotte versus Nia. Yep. What I was thinking was just that. Uh, why would I say this? It's like I think Andrew mentioned it on a previous show. Like when we talk about SmackDown and Raw. Can you, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I lost you for a little for a little while. Yeah, Andrew has said that when it, when it was like American Alpha and speeding up them winning the tag titles, uh, it was like SmackDown will call an audible, and Raw. I think they needed to call an audible here at the Rumble. I think they needed to have Bailey win. Yeah, never... Because I, I think they set up. I, I I think they set up like Shaw was gonna get to sixteen and zero on pay-per-view, like, title matches or singles match or what have you, and then she was going to lose at WrestleMania, maybe. I don't know to who, but they got no idea how to get there. And that's why they were like, you know, point A is Charlotte's the champion, point B is blank, and point C, Charlotte loses the title at WrestleMania 33. And point, and we're at point B, and this is what we're getting. And I think they should have called an audible uh, tonight. I mean, Bailey was super over. Super over. I don't think the intention is for Charlotte to lose at WrestleMania. I don't. I see no signs of that. I see no proof, no evidence. People keep saying that, but I do not believe in the I don't. I, I, I'll say this much. I'll say this much. I'm, I'm losing a little bit of hope, but I'm still hopeful that this happens. Because you know me. I really like Charlotte. Okay? I don't want to stop liking Charlotte. <laughs> and I think if, if Charlotte wins at WrestleMania, that stop. much. Yeah, I know. I was just—it's not like I'm gonna stop liking Charlotte, but it's gonna be even tougher to to, to defend her. It's like okay. Yeah, the mask was really good though. The mask was really damn good. I thought it was okay. 
I like the ma- what do you think, Gabe? I like I thought the match was good. I like the uh Macho Man elbow spot in the, basically the same year. Yeah. It's, it, yeah, exactly. That was a good elbow. And barely covering up for yeah, two of Charlotte's mistakes, I think. Out of position on the yeah, elbow oh, drop. Yeah, she definitely did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the her around on the outside, she like slowed down on the slide because Charlotte wasn't ready. Uh, I thought she missed the rope or something. She hit the rope or something, but I don't think Charlotte was ready. That was, that, that that too. That too. That, could, I, I'm not completely sure. Kind of a, it looked like it looked like she had to wait on Charlotte because she'll kind of a she'll compensate for the other person. Yeah, that's the good thing about Bailey. I mean, and Bailey can work on many on on various tastes. <laughs> My problem with Becky, I mean, Becky has a problem with slowing down. That's why her match with Alexa are struggling. This was a really good match for me. Um, um, I, I thought it was good. Just, just, the, just the, you just knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, but it, it made me, it made it easier for me to watch it because I wasn't that emotionally invested. I was just watching it, just like watching the match, and it was a really good match. Like uh, they, the chemistry has gotten better, and I, I like the. I like some of the some of the spots they, that Bailey was able to do, uh, and the ending was brutal. The ending was brutal. I mean, on the apron, that looked kind of nasty. But yeah, yeah, I thought it was their best match up to this point. It was like yeah, I will agree on that. Yeah, it was not like it's anywhere close to the Charlotte Sasha matches, but. You know, it's an improvement. It's just Charlotte and Sasha have an unreal chemistry that is kind of yeah. not yeah. <laughs> compare. You know, their matches with other people. Yeah, especially with Charlotte. Not. Especially and with I Charlotte. feel like I feel like Sasha has chemistry with more other people besides Charlotte, and doesn't work the other way with Charlotte. That's true. That's true. I will say this. That, that, yeah. I will say this. And Bailey can just work with anybody. Yeah. I will say this. I I'd rather have what happened this year to one of my favorites than last year. Yeah, don't we don't need to talk about that. Yeah. We're going what don't we're going to do is move on to the Universal exactly. Championship exactly. match. Exactly. You know, we're exactly. move on. Let's move on. I was just wanted to, I just wanted to mention it. <laughs> I'd rather the take the cool loss. Ch- the Universal Champion exactly. Kevin Let's Owens defended his title <laughs> against Roman Reigns in a no DQ match with Chris Jericho hanging above the ring in a shark cage. Now, because Roman Reigns is my favorite, I'm going to go ahead and give my opinions on this match first. Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> Roman Reigns did a, took a lot of bumps to make Kevin Owens look great, especially in the beginning. I also like that the match, they they didn't wrestle at first and then be like, oh, yeah, it's a DQ match. Let's go get some weapons. They started out brawling, and they they just went for the weapons right off. Um, I can kind of get people's point about Super Roman Reigns because he went, he went through a table. He got, like, hit with a lot of stuff. He, like, went through a chair. And he got punched, Superman punched, actually, with brass knuckles. And he still kicked out of all of these things. Kevin Owens went through a chair and a lot of other things, and he also kicked out. I thought it was just, like, a really fun, hardcore match. And, like, I don't know, like, how Ron fits into things, considering the Rumble match that happened. But I can appreciate that Braun was the reason. Like, they didn't try to get Jericho out of the cage in some silly form or fashion. He just stayed up there. Yeah, I, I appreciate that Braun was the one. Yeah. I've seen, I've actually seen it fun. happen. Yeah. Go, go ahead. With someone in a cage, and they got them out of the cage during a match. I thought he was, I thought he was going to drop the U.S. That. title down the years. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Gabe, go ahead. You can, you can talk about your opinions on the match. Me? All right. Uh, I thought it was really fun brawl. I wasn't, like, super invested in it because they've been fighting forever and I haven't paid too much attention. Uh, I was 
Well, uh, they didn't break. They broke one table, which was. They broke. I like. I liked all the violence, and that it was just weapons and no twenty-minute headlocks. Yeah, that was good. That was good. The brass knuckle spot was cool. Um. Oh, I like. I like. I liked how Owens keeps setting huge stuff up on the outside and gets knocked through it every time. That normally happens to a heel, anyways. <laughs> but. Oh, he's setting up these chairs. Well, he's going to go through it later. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how Braun fits into it. I guess he's just a roadblock. He'll be a roadblock for Roman before Roman faces Taker. That would be that's my best. The, that's the fast lane, probably. That's the fast lane match. That's my best Roman guess, Braun. but... Mm. It's going to be a good match. I'll say that. Who knows? But, yeah. Who First off... Neither one Rope, of them uh, should be losing. I would, I, Ro- I guess Roman, I think, but you should just really have Braun, and then I don't know. But I it's okay. Be, the person who faces Undertaker at WrestleMania should not be losing a month before WrestleMania. That's stupid. No, 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 no. no. I, I think Roman would be a count out. Like he puts Braun through a table or something, through, through an announce table, and Braun cannot answer the 10. I don't know. They should just not do it. <laughs> they probably just have Roman win clean. Yeah. Uh, the, German, yeah the German announced table strikes again, <laughs> by the way, with Braun and Roman. <laughs> Once again, oh, they didn't break. Oh, yeah, but... They didn't... It they put him on the, the German table. It must be. It broke yeah. once before. It. He also like... did it on the... He, they also did it on, like, the ledge part, and they didn't take the... T- the uh, TV's out, so I was like, "This isn't breaking." Yeah. When they did yeah. it, yeah. But that thing doesn't first break. Off, I want to say first off, you know, I love how the first thing that Tanya mentions is, you know, the bumps that Roman was taking <laughs> early in the match. <laughs> like Ma- Mama Bear Tanya is still, you know, concerned Dang, about the bumps. Of course. That- <laughs> like when Mama, Kevin Mama Owens. <laughs> the fuck. Fo- when Kevin Owens did the, like the frog smash on the table, he like. Crushed yeah. the table under yeah, that, that was a little scary. That was he, a little scary. He looked like he landed too it's high. Okay. He looked like he landed on he looked like he landed on the chest, not the stomach. Right? Yeah. And I was just like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I want I wanna mention Kevin I wanna mention Kevin Owens, where the fuck have you been in the past six months? That was easily the best Kevin Owens since Battleground. Yeah, yeah it was. It was. He was very wait, vicious. Yeah. In that match. I, I, I love how they, they made it just a brawl. And as far as the, the mini kick outs and whatever and what have you, it's a twenty two minute world title match. There gotta be kick outs up the ass. I mean, let's be honest. So I didn't No, like no, no, no. See, people only get upset when Roman kicks out because he's taking John Cena place as the person you criticize for these things, but don't criticize other people for doing it. So it's it's cool. Yeah. They're yeah. gonna they're gonna do that. I, but... It didn't mind. It didn't mind me. Even the brass knuckle stuff. I mean, it didn't mind me. Like kick that. You don't you, know? you don't normally win on not your finisher and stealing somebody else's move, even with a weapon that's not super painful. Or it, it would hurt, yeah. but like it, it's, it's not a like near, a... it's a super near fall, but not a pinfall usually at least. Like I think it is, I think some matches have ended with. He didn't the take, opposite he didn't, finisher, but not he many. Didn't take a, not he many. didn't take up a pop, pop, pop power bomb at all. No, neither neither no. one of them did their finishers. <laughs> neither one of them did a finish. Roman never got True. to do the spear. True. True. That's, that's he true. never did the pop up power bomb. The home. That's another thing I noticed. And I was like, well, good on them. They didn't use their finishers. It was a lot of signature moves, but n- neither one used their finishers in the match. Because Braun was going to finish the match for him anyway. Yeah, that's true. So they didn't even do it. So any more, any more thoughts on, on this match? Uh, it was the best universal title match up to this point. I, I liked it a little more than the four-way. Mostly because, I mean, it was no Triple H coming out of nowhere and then disappearing of, of, for four months or something. Uh, it was just Braun. Braun is going to be there tomorrow. And we got to get Roman and Braun soon. At least it made sense, you know. You can, you can yeah. build through that, yeah. 
and I love brawls. I love uh, violent wars and what have you. And Kevin Owens last year did the same thing with Dean Ambrose. You know, had another really fun brawl last year. So uh, that was damn good. I went like four or something like that. I, I love that match. Not the best match, though, on the night. <laughs> no, we'll get to that. <laughs> Gay? I had long shot. Any, any, uh, any last thoughts on that, Matt? Uh, it was, I didn't expect it to be that good, and then it started out really good, and I'm like, all right, this works. And then Braun showed up. Yeah, past out of two, nowhere. Past two nights <laughs> been very overachieving. I mean, low expectations and all, but they, both take over and the Rumble overachieved. Yeah. Well, let's go on to the uh, Cruiserweight Championship match, which saw... The worst which, match of the night. I mean, I can't judge because I took a nap. Rich Swan versus <laughs> Neville. I'm telling you, I was spent during that match, you know, watching it through my eyes. I'm like, oh, no, he's going to land on his neck. Don't do that. Oh. But I was kind of worn out after the Universal title match, so I kind of took a nap. I'm yeah. sorry. But I did get to see the end of the match. So, Gabe, what were your thoughts on the Cruiserweight Championship match? Neville uh, versus Rich Swan. Well, the, well, it seemed like everybody went to the bathroom during this match, but because it was pretty quiet in there. Uh, it happened? Why are we doing headlocks with guys yeah. under 200 pounds and ground stuff? Um, what makes them yeah. different? Are we just, if this is going to be a grappling division, why didn't you just make it get... Sabre or use Gallagher or so I don't know. Maybe the maybe they get maybe it's just they'll lead to some get somebody better. I don't know. Maybe they'll lead to this will lead to Cedric or Gallagher going versus Neville at whatever's next for them. So I think it's they're just gonna start oh I'm just gonna say I think they're gonna start using the cruiserweights how they used to use the divas. And this was basically their cool down match between championship match, you know, the big championship matches. But Bexley, what are you? What were your thoughts on the match? Yeah, ten minutes. It felt like twenty. I mean, this is the headlock division. Simple as that. I mean, when you go out there, championship match, you got Rich Swan and Neville, and you do headlocks for four minutes. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, I like the ending. And I'm happy Neville won, so I will say that. I'm, I'm really happy for Neville. Uh, he, he, he should have been a champion in WWE much earlier, much sooner than, than now. Uh, but he, he did win a title. Congrats to him. Uh, and I think they can do some good stuff going forward with him and Gallagher and him and, and Cedric, but mostly him and Gallagher. I think that's the direction they're going to go with. Uh, but, yeah, the match was... No good. Would... Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I was just <laughs> wanting to make a point about when you said that Neville should have already had a belt. They didn't have a belt they wanted to give him until the Cruiserweight Championship. That's <laughs> like true. That, that is true. <laughs> it wasn't going to give him the IC title or US like, title, but they have other. It wasn't like the IC title not doing well, like uh, when Neville uh, got up on the main roster. That was when Brian went out. And uh, got the the career ending concussion, and then they had that that fuck up all chamber match <laughs> that right back one. Like you could have had Neville. I mean, at around that time, like go and win the title, win the IC title. Not not then, but a little later. I mean, he was new, he was fresh, he was having good matches with set with Rollins and with uh, other guys there. So you could have done that and. I mean, they, they, fair, normally, they, they, they normally use the IC title as a gateway to one of the top titles. Top so, title. not not then. I mean, then it began with with Owens and Ambrose. It kind of became that, and then now with Miz and Ziggler and 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 Dean. But back then, no. I mean, I don't know. It was okay. it was not a good time for the IC title back then. Let's, be, uh, let's to, be fair, to, to be fair, Neville has been injured too for a, for a, a couple of times. So mm. there's also that. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, the WWE Championship match. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> with AJ Styles, <laughs> the champion, 
John Cena. Uh, John motherfucking Cena. Give me your thoughts on this match. Me? Yeah. Well, I said it. I, I think this is the best Rumble match of all time. The best Rumble pay-per-view match of all time. That's what I mean. It's uh, right up there with like the three way from a couple of years ago and Benoit Jericho, the latter match from like 2001, I think. But I thought it was a little, this was better. I mean, the, the crowd was just electric for this match. And the, to see Cena and Styles, I mean, I already had really high expectations for this expectations for this match because of SummerSlam and Money in the Bank last year. Holy cow! <laughs> Holy cow! And I'm not upset with Cena winning, not at all. I, okay, Gabe, what are your thoughts? This was uh, I thought this was the best match of the night. Uh, great. They had at first it was. It was like, all right, could, they didn't get to, like, it started off like Cena was going to win quick, but you know that's not going to happen. And then they went yeah. into no they did that. No way. <sighs> um, <coughs> then they, <sighs> okay, hold on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stop interrupting, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so they started slow, and then they had that chat, great, that, uh, great, the, uh, when they went into the ground game with all the chains and submissions, I love, I love that part, and I love the callback of, I, I thought Cena went off this, the A off the top rope, the avalanche A again, and, yeah, that was great. That was great. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> you okay, man? Yeah, just stop interrupting. Let me talk, please. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Just can't hear you. <sighs> um, um, that's what threw me off. I like. I couldn't remember if, I think, I think Cena broke the pin off the uh, forearm before, so that wasn't too shocking. I loved how he countered in the two A's to finish it and hugged baby Nate at the end. Because, of course, he had to be the ref. And I checked this before I... I checked this before the match or after it because I knew the date of SummerSlam 2014 because I knew it a while ago. But the last time Cena had the WWE Championship was 897 days ago, which is 128 weeks, and it's two years, five months, and 13 days ago. That's insane for somebody of his stature, even though he's been injured and on and off again. Well, I think... Well, you know why he hasn't had the title that long? Because... They were trying to... They were trying to make Roman Reigns happy. <laughs> I, yeah, it wasn't working very well. <laughs> no, I mean... I, I nah. know, but it's just... For somebody of... <laughs> when, when, he's, when he's been doing great... When he's done what he's done, that's incredibly long. Even if they're trying to make somebody else... It's like they didn't even go back to him. No, they didn't. Um, well, here's my opinion. I thought it was a very good match, but I could not enjoy it because I was sour. Because I'm an AJ Styles fan. Way more like I I kind of dig John Cena. He's all right. But I'm an AJ Styles fan. And for him to have dressed AJ <laughs> Styles down the way he has, and he just beat him. Like, I know he took, like, all those AAs in a row and all that, and hurrah, hurrah, he still beat him. Bittersweet for me. But I will say he deserves it, and yada, yada, yada. And that's how I feel about that. Well, Rick, Rick, I'm, I'm, Rick, 
Rick Flair took yeah. the place of uh, John uh, Triple H in the picture in the back. So, <laughs> or maybe it's just did he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't it's, see it, that. It, yet. It's on the daily. It's on the daily. Yeah. I I am posting the rumble man, so people know what I'm talking about. But maybe Triple H thought that was himself for a second. People will get the joke. Yeah, Triple H was hiding from from Seth. No, so Seth wasn't allowed <laughs> in the Seth building. Seth was banned from the building. <laughs> Which was really smart. Do you trust that rascal? Yeah. I mean, come on. That's true. The, the men showed up to take any more thoughts on this? Uh, any more thoughts on the uh, championship match before I we mean, move on? It, they, I mean, yeah. that okay, was, go ahead. they did that really well. They did it. Yeah. They did that was they that was perfect lead into the rumble also. Okay. Basically, it took four four AA. It took four AAs to beat uh, AJ Styles and come on, including a super AA. I mean, it's not like you know it took a lot to beat AJ Styles. But all I'm gonna say is this is this is the world we live in right now, twenty seventeen, a lot of people are okay with John Cena being WWE champion again. <laughs> A lot of people are, are okay with it. This is the world we live in. I'm not all the way okay with yeah. it, but I live. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I understand. I <laughs> understand. And I'm a big AJ Styles fan, but I understand why they did that. And it's really unpredictable what they could what they could do now. I mean, you got the you got the chamber. Oh, years. actually, I really like the uh, Cena spot, like where he's just. Yeah, it looks like he's the Incredible Hulk. Like how much he's flexing and intense. He's like super serious. See, oh my god, <laughs> he was that super was muscle. silly. <laughs> that was silly. Was that was silly muscle. as hell. <laughs> he was very veiny. Very veiny. Every... Yeah, that it was a little creepy and like it literally looked like he was extremely. He looked extremely muscular. I look forward to that gif being thrown around. <laughs> it's gonna be him transforming into Hulk. Into Hulk. Yeah, Tanya, give me a second. Okay. I'll be back. I have a, a little bro problem. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll be back. Well, let's. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we're gonna get into the Royal Rumble match. Yeah, let's do it. Alrighty. So the first person I was kind of weird to me. I didn't expect like they usually don't have big dudes come out first, but Cass was one. And Chris Jericho, who like I watched this with my kids and they were very upset that Chris Jericho was like hiding the whole rumble. <laughs> Yeah, Chris Jericho the last two years has been the dude calling the Rumble, I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, he was definitely, he came out there at number two so he could he could be out there and, like, control the action. Make sure everybody's in their spot. Yeah, the Rumble's last two years have been pretty decent, so maybe they should, that cute, I guess that's working. Even though he's yeah. the, even though he's the uh, Iron Man. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, we didn't, we just, right. we just. We just went to the first two entrants. Yeah. I guess yeah, they, I so, guess they had Enzo and Cash to kill time at the beginning. That's my only guess. Yeah, yeah. They need they needed to have uh, the shtick, you know, with Enzo and Cash. So that's why they made Cash number one. I thought it was gonna be Sammy. <laughs> I was wrong, but I think I got Jericho right at number two. I th I think I called Jericho too. Not yeah, they sure. needed somebody to call the match and just literally sit around for it a while either, to call it, the match. I had either Jericho or Miz. I'm not sure. Yeah. I need to go check. Uh, Jericho, but I mean, that's all he was doing because he did nothing of note except for get <laughs> out of the ring. <laughs> he got knocked oh, out yeah. by the big show. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Just like last year. But, uh, uh, Bron, Bron eliminated eight people, right? No, I thought he was six. I thought he was seven. Was it? See, Not you have sure. to go back and find out. I thought it was eight. Well, so, I could check where I was but, Okay. Uh, my favorite parts of the match. Like, there were a lot of good things that went down. 
But my favorite part of it was the match seven. was it was kind of like I very much enjoyed Ellsworth and Carmella. And Carmella's like, get in there, get in there. And he's like, <laughs> Oh, that was uh, good. Uh, you know? And then and, it, and then Dean tricks him to get into the ring because he's like, Yeah, me and you, me and you, me and you. Then he lets him go in there and get knocked out and eliminated. <laughs> I also enjoy uh the fact that Ty Dillinger was actually number 10. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, WWE, for giving people what they want. Go on. Final. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, another part I have to really mention is uh, who who came out at number thirty? Which yeah. It, in kayfabe, it doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense unless Mick Foley did it behind Stephanie's back. But it don't make no sense that he had a championship match that he lost and he's the number 30th person. You but Roman know. Reigns coming out as number 30 and like Undertaker was standing right there and they were staring each other down and I was like, thank you Dave Meltzer for coming through with one thing. <laughs> like, that was the rumor for a minute. I know some people are going to be saucy as hell. But that's going to be great. I love, I love, oh my God, I cannot wait for Roman Reigns versus Undertaker. So you guys can, you guys, uh, Gabe, go ahead, give your thoughts. I love the, the, I like the, uh, the match. they're stacking people up and then it's just, Braun comes out at seven and we're all like, okay. And then I'm gonna meet, oh, I think it was like Mark Henry came out and I was like, yo, can we get a Mark Henry Strowman showdown and then Strowman comes out? <laughs> That was, uh, I really like that part, because you just kept going, just throwing Strowman with other BC dudes, and having them fight, which was really fun, uh, and then you had Sam, I didn't understand why they had Sammy come out at pick number eight, like, gimmick him eight in that backstage segment real quick, and then we realized Braun seven, I'm like, oh, I get it now. That had, some people say it was a rib. Some, some people say it was a rib. I don't know. They, they, not, not, they confirmed. Not, not confirmed. Not confirmed. No, I'm saying, but, but if they're saying it's a rib, it what was, is the rib on? He's, fu- he's been fighting Strowman for a while. It would make sense for him to come out and want a piece of him. Yeah, I don't, that's I don't know why they gave him a number. Seven. That's the only thing that was weird. That's what I'm saying. That's what, the number, not the placement, the number. And, yeah. Yeah, go, uh, go ahead. Oh, and we had the big show. So we set up. So they set up. Maybe they'll do Strowman Henry on a TV match. That's fine if they do that. That would be fine. I think they're setting up for Strowman Big Show. Both of those guys have slimmed down, and look, Big Show looked great. And that segment with those two was extremely fun. And then I'm glad they had Strowman have like throw everybody out. When you keep bringing guys out. And you have the perfect way to eliminate him. Just like four guys taking <laughs> him out. And then Sammy Haluva kicks him, so he kind of gets his co outfits. And then Corbin just takes him out. So maybe they even set that up for like down the road. Braun just shows up on SmackDown and kills Corbin or something. <laughs> <laughs> just because he's Braun Strowman and he does what he wants. When he wants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when he wants. <laughs> it's the main event. We um, need that beat. And yeah, the only, the only thing I was the middle of the rumble was kind of started stacking people up, which was fine. But um, oh, this is not what I want. Um, which was fine. The only thing I was disappointed at is, and and I know why they did it. I wanted them to have Miz come out to somebody else's music, to like Brian's music, just to get even more heat. Which but you don't want to tease that match, especially since they're probably not going to clear Brian ever. So I, I feel that's probably why they wouldn't do that. But it would have been, it would have worked well within storyline if they did that. Um, they stacked it up. Oh, they had the Kofi spot. I really that was creative. 
I was a little scared how he went down because that did not look safe. Kofi's crazy. <laughs> he is insane. He jumped, right. he jumped in the barricade one year. Like that. Like that one. That looked even more dangerous than what he did tonight. Because if tonight he just messed up, he'd just drop and his gimmick's over. Like that one. That one like I like how it was creative and they did it. He has to practice that or something. There's no way you'd be able to get that the first time. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to get there. They kept stacking up the middle. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, yeah. They just then they yeah. Um, she. Oh, the Seamus Cesaro segment was good. Taking out the new day probably sets uh, maybe sets up a feud and then sets those two up to have a singles match if that's what they want to do with them. Rusev was taking all the falls with a broken nose, which seemed like a good idea, but okay. So, Philip, what were your what did you enjoy most about the Rumble match? Where to begin? Where to begin? I mean, first of Jack Gallagher. Coming out with the umbrella, and yeah. uh, that was that was great. I mean, him attacking the other the umbrella under the stuff with Jericho, <laughs> I laughed so hard with that one. Uh, kind of sad that he was the first guy eliminated, but you know, looking at the guys who were in there, kind of had to be him. I don't know. Uh, and then Braun coming on number seven, and get, I was getting Braun and and Mark Henry <laughs> and Sami Zayn. And all of that, all of that, all of that beef was great. And then Big Show came out, and all of it was all, all hell broke loose at that point. And Braun was awesome. Baron was awesome. I said it, Baron Corbin, the guy. I mean, for someone was for someone who's like six seven, six eight, however tall he is, two hundred sixty five pounds. He runs around, around like he's Kofi Kingston. He's almost that quick. It's, ridiculous and he he's he's got a bright future i think he will be icing champion in 2017 definitely and then the stuff with ellsworth i was i was so sad i was in a cafe and i could not like start laughing out loud because that was that was great i mean i love carmela i love carmela so much as a character and ellsworth just him being face to face with Braun, that was some good continuity. And then with Dean, it was uh, Dean tricking him, and then Ellsworth just gets tossed out in like 15 seconds. That was good. Uh, that was great. Then the middle part kind of, you know, the Kofi the Kofi spot kind of scared me. Like I thought he hit his face on the on the post. I was like, that was a little bit scary, but he was okay. He was fine and continued uh and it was pretty really creative i will say that and uh i like the continuity with bray and xavier i love the continuity there with xavier being scared you know that was that popped me because i still remember that few like in june july or whatever uh but that you got got xavier really over with me uh so yeah and then goldberg just Brock Lesnar is Goldberg's bitch. bitch. I'm not gonna say bitch exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they don't have them actually have another match. Just keep. Yeah, they're building up Brock Lesnar as the babyface. <laughs> I don't know. Like Goldberg. You think so? has, I mean, Goldberg had his number. His, his abused him twice in seconds. I mean, he's also the baby about, face. I know, but I'm, I'm like, if you're giving me a redemption angle for Brock, that that makes no sense. Where are you going with this one? I mean, if you're going to do a redemption angle, Brock is a heel. You can't do that. No, I just think it's that he underestimates Goldberg. He keeps underestimating him. That's possible. I also think he gets paid a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot about the spot where uh, Braun went over the rope and actually hung on and didn't have his feet touch the floor. Yeah, <laughs> he, did that yeah he did that. He did do that. 
Uh, for a guy that size, that was, I really like that spot. I don't even think his foot, t- one foot touched the floor. He was holding up. Yeah. So he I just pulled that. back up. I like, I d- oh, also, I liked how they had The Undertaker come out. So we didn't have to have him watch down there for that oh, long. Oh, because that rant was so long. Yeah. And I was thinking, it's going to take The Undertaker forever <laughs> to get to the ring. So that was smart. You're right. That was they, brilliant. They also, did that, they also did that on Raw. So, like, and that's what he used to do on SmackDown to just show up randomly. Like, his stuff would go off. Lights would go out. He's in the ring. Nobody knows how he got there. I think they're starting to understand that the man is 52 years old, whatever he is, and he's not going to walk very fast. <laughs> no, that's, that why you d- that's why they did what they did. <laughs> it's going to take two, three minutes. That was brilliant. That was brilliant, though. That's I love that part. I was like, wait, he's not coming out. He's in the ring. <laughs> yeah, they did that, they did that perfectly because he was number 29, not 30. Yeah. And you still so, know okay. that who was number 30. Oh, well. oh, oh my goodness. I'm telling you, when Undertaker came out at 29, me and my kids, we were all like, so who, who's going to be number 30? We tried to think. It did all I heard. I heard Roman Reigns music, and I was like, this makes no sense. You know but what? I, you God know, damn it, I'm going for it. <laughs> you know what, Tanya? You know what? It got spoiled. It got How spoiled. Did it get right? spoiled? Somebody, yeah. somebody put it on Wikipedia. Yeah, so I went to check when uh, uh, the cruiserweight match was over. I'm not sure, and uh, there it was Roman was number thirty. I don't trust Wiki, but that was what happened. <laughs> yeah, someone jumped. The, someone that? jumped the gun, I guess. I don't know. Somebody knew and edited it. Yeah, someone edited it in, and then they edited it out. It might have been a joke at first, but somebody actually made it known. That's also possible. I was still expecting Finn at number 30. I was expecting Joe. That's it. Yes, no, there was no, like, surprise entrance. Well, Roman Reigns was the fucking surprise entrance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was crazy. But I'm telling you, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. For this match, you have no idea. I want this match to happen last year. Big me- big merch versus Taker. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, and like hopefully Reigns. People don't understand. Like I pay attention to him a lot. When he was doing a lot of his offense against Kevin Owens, he was like acting a lot more heelish than he usually does. Like yeah. talking shit and gesturing to the crowd and stuff. He only does that when he's in like, okay, they I can get a little bit more leeway and kind of play heel. So I have people like, oh, Undertaker to try to make Undertaker heel. <laughs> you don't understand. No. You don't understand the company knows how they they're not dumb. They know the reaction Rome is going to get. There's a reason why they are doing what they're doing. But, they're actually turning him here is brilliant. And and I, and if he retires, take care of Mania. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'll be happy. <laughs> I'll be happy. As, long as, as long as he's teal. <laughs> I'm gonna drink the smart tears. I don't care if he's heel or face. I'm gonna drink smart tears that night. I'll be like, blah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm right, about- right. I'm, I'm that way too. I don't care if he's a heel or face. I just want him to be a badass. Just take ass and take everyone's names. Just that. <laughs> I don't care about anything else about Roman. Yeah. And we didn't even talk about the winner. Oh, oh. yes. Let's, <laughs> let us talk about. Well, see, this is, this is the thing. Because right now, somebody. John Cena, this is why it doesn't make any sense to me to give him 16 because you're telling me that the main event of WrestleMania is going to be John Cena versus Randy Orton. There's no way that's happening. There's no way they're doing that for 15 times. Really? I don't think it's happening. As of right now, the main event is John Cena versus Randy Orton because they said the person who wins gets 
a shot. The main event of WrestleMania, they get a title shot. The WWE titles on SmackDown. John Cena's the WWE champion. It is so that means he's gonna lose it at Elimination Chamber. So he he's got his 16th title reign for two weeks. Yeah. Or maybe he loses. I don't know. I don't, why? I don't why know. put it on him? Why give him 16 just to take it away after two weeks? That's crazy. You, uh, this might be a potential spoiler, but he's not. Uh, I'll give somebody if, if you want to mute, just because this might be a spoiler. But he's not booked for the SmackDown after WrestleMania, he's or like not? appearances soon. So I'm not completely sure what's going on there. Something's up. I don't think he keeps the title very long. They want him to get this title and then move on. I, that's what it feels like. That's stupid. I think Styles wins it back at the at the chamber. Like and he, the and, rumor, the rumor is about Orton Wyatt, but it was a thing. It wasn't specific about WrestleMania. It was like in 2017. It would happen in 2017 at some point for the title, but they didn't mention WrestleMania if I, if I remember well. So it could be Styles Orton now, and then they do Orton Wyatt. That's a possibility. AJ Styles and Randy Orton on paper are both heels. Yeah, that's they, everyone unless, can get yeah. cheered. And you're not, and they, I don't think they want, and I don't think they want to turn Orton face again. I think they would use Orton to turn Bray face. They don't have to. I mean, the crowd is going to cheer for Orton, no he matter what. They go cheer for AJ Styles, no matter what. Yeah, but it doesn't stop. Fit. That doesn't stop <laughs> them for getting John Cena over during the match. So, as long as you can get the other guy over, that's because it's yeah. John Cena. That too. <laughs> yeah, I got no idea where we're going. Uh, AJ Styles won getting Dean Ambrose over. Dean, the more Dean Ambrose faced AJ Styles, the less he got over until they put James Ellsworth in that angle. Yeah. yeah. Unless they'll turn one of them face, I don't think they're. Uh, we'll see. The elimination team. <laughs> I mean, the three people I can, I would say in the elimination chamber right now are Styles, Cena, Miz. Yeah. Orton won't be in it because why would he need to be in it? Yeah, why would he? He got a title shot at WrestleMania already. I think <laughs> Amber's going to be in it. I think Corbin's going to be in it. Bray. Yeah. Well, do you think Luke Harper might be in it? I would think why, or, or, or they're, or are they going to save, like, have Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper have a match? And neither one of them are that's, in the chamber here. That's I think Bray will be in it. I don't know how they get to it. I don't know how they get the other three guys in. But I, I don't think I'm not sure Dean's in it either because he has the IC title. So they'll give him a match. I think they'll just give him a match. I think he said he wanted to be in it. Yeah, he, oh, then he'll be in it. That's that's also a thing. Yeah, you see, you're right. Like it, it isn't really clear what the title picture is heading into WrestleMania yet on either side. Because, like, okay, Kevin Owens is the universal champion right now. And he's not going to be facing Roman Reigns anymore. Like, tonight should put an end to that. It should be over. God, please let it be over. What? Styles? No, no. Reigns, Reigns and Owens. Oh, man, they've been ha- not had a match together since, like, forever. That should be over with. So who who does Kevin Owens face next? What happens? <coughs> Neither title picture is very clear after this. Like none of the title pictures. Like we know like potential side matches from the Rumble. Somebody was like, "Oh, WrestleMania should be clear after the Rumble," but it's really, it's not that clear. It's, it's clear and it's not at the same time. Like you know who's gonna be in. The SmackDown match, you kind of get you see a couple of feuds building like Strowman <coughs> Taker. Uh, who's Strowman supposed to face? Strowman maybe Goldberg, but they didn't even tease that. Oh, they didn't no. tease that on Raw. Strowman may be the Battle Royal. Who knows? <laughs> like nothing's super clear, but yeah. And maybe it's would, maybe maybe it's gonna make it more interesting instead of a super clear. He, uh, well, here's my thought uh, because 
I do think they're going to have Jericho and KO face at WrestleMania. I just think that's the end of, that's how their story is going to end. But I don't I, think it's going to be universal yeah. title. So I think like, you think that'll be the U.S. title match? Yeah, I think he faces Goldberg at uh, Fastlane. Yeah, Fastlane. And, and, then, and then Goldberg Strowman? Or either or Goldberg Lesnar. Yeah. I'd rather Goldberg win that. Doesn't make sense to do Lesnar again. <coughs> I think Goldberg is because, like I've been telling people, he signed up for three raw pay per views. After WrestleMania, he's already signed a contract to perform. Oh, if he if he beats Lesnar again with the title, that's fine. He can and then build up for him versus Braun at some point or something. Yeah, and then Braun takes it from him later on. I think that might be where they're going with it. If they do that, that's fine. As long as Lesnar doesn't get the title back, because you really don't need him having the title, because he's never there. Think, and other yeah, reasons. I think Goldberg shows up more than Lesnar does. <laughs> yeah, just have Goldberg. <laughs> Call that, you could just have Goldberg run an open challenge and keep throwing out lower card guys for a couple weeks. Just have him squash people. Just have him work two, ten minute matches, three minute matches every week with the title squashing people. That would work. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Got a question? Did Jericho break the record? He broke no. Triple H's record. He did not break yeah. Ray's record. No, he didn't. Right, but he did go an hour. So yeah. No, he so, didn't. He. Uh, I was wondering he, about that. He didn't break Ray's record. He broke. He broke Triple H's total record. I know. I know. Which is fun. I, I guess. I thought. I thought the two rumbles with uh, Jericho <laughs> controlling everything seemed to be booked pretty well. So. Yeah. Yeah. Last year and this year, yeah. they were pretty good. Pretty good rumbles. <laughs> Twenty fifteen and they didn't have anyone doing it. <laughs> Was nobody yeah. doing it that year? I don't think so. I've watched that match a, a few times now. And I don't think so. If somebody was doing it, it was Bray and he was doing a terrible job of it. Yeah. <laughs> or was it I mean, Bray Kane wasn't doing it? They went out there the whole time. Bray was the only one that was pretty much out there for the whole every section of the match. Yeah, then yeah. he didn't do a very good job of it. Jericho was out there for like every section, just like directing traffic and taking punches and finishers, and then rolling out of the ring for twenty minutes. Um, I mean, Jericho is a twenty-five year, twenty-five year veteran. He has a lot of experience doing doing stuff like that. In to be fair to Bray, that's true. That's what yeah. they should have a veteran doing that anyway. Yeah, it's so. Fun. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine with Jericho just taking the Iron Man and running the match. They seem to what flow is, pretty well. What is you guys' overall <laughs> grade of the entire show? What would you give it? Go ahead, Gabe. Gabe. I would give it like A. I thought it was really good. They did everything they they didn't give us away everything from Mania, but they gave us a great one, a match of the year candidate already. Uh, a really good rumble that set up some intriguing possibilities. Uh, a, a really good undercard title match. Uh, I'm not count. And then set up everything they want to do for Mania, it looks like. Or started to, even if fans aren't for uh, the women's title scene, if it seems the way they're going. And Bexley? What you, what was your grade? I would say eight, eight and a half, maybe out of ten. Like this was a okay. this was a pretty good show, pretty good show. I seen that style was awesome. I thought, I thought the rumble was great. The Owens the Owens Reigns match was great. The undercut for the most part was pretty good. There were a couple couple of not very good matches, but it was a really good show, really damn good show. And I'm gonna give it a B plus. Just because uh, I kind of grade on emotions and feelings, and I'm still bummed that, like, John Cena dressed down AJ Styles and then just straight up beat him. I'm sorry. I'm not going to get over that. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I'm not. And then Sasha got squashed, and I fell asleep during the Cruiserweight match. And... uh. 
the only reason it's like not like anything lower is because I'm gonna get Roman Reigns versus the Undertaker, <laughs> and I'm so happy about it. Okay, what are your I final remember, thoughts on the pay per view? Yeah, I remember. Before we get there, I remember last night when we talked about Takeover, you gave it a ten. <laughs> and yeah. I was like you say, you say you graded on emotion. I was like, yeah, I understand. I I totally understand. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what are your what are your final thoughts on the show overall, Big Breaches? We didn't talk was, about that you want to throw out there. Yeah. Well, what the what the what? Just anything, any last words yeah. you want to say? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought you thought you wanted to bring something up. I don't know. Just a really, a really good show. I, I enjoyed it. I, I, I watched it all from the pre-show to the end of the of the, of the show, like five and a half hours, and I didn't really get bored much, other than the cruiserweight match. Um, it was a, it was a lot of fun. It has, I had a couple of really damn good matches. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, and. Off to good start, 2017. Now, if we can figure out what happens at Mania, that's another question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gabe, any final thoughts? I thought it was... I thought it was uh, done well, and they... Um, I thought it was done well. Maybe start had a couple... It cooled down as a spot, but that's fine. And they just... The rumble and the ending was extremely fun. And the the Roman match was good too. Okay, well, I I just I, I, first of all I want to thank you, Gabe, and especially you, Bexley, because I know you're all all the way on the other side of the world, and you're up like at ungodly hours in the morning. To, to it, be it's with seven twenty right now. Seven twenty in the morning. And I thank you very much for staying up and, and talking with us. I thank you both. I thank everybody for listening. And I just want to say, I'm going to be the new phenom in the WWE. So everybody get used to it. Thanks for listening. This has been live after Royal Rumble. Bye.